going back to what I was saying, so I ran five miles, right? Five miles, five miles last night. Um, the whole plan to run five miles was very was uh, it, it, it kind of relied a lot on when my wireless headphones were going to get delivered to me. I think I mentioned to you guys previously that I was looking to upgrade the headphones that I bought from Amazon a while back. Um, these Empower Flames, I'm sure you've seen them reviewed by loads of different uh, people online, like Unbox Therapy and a few other people who have reviewed these uh, twenty dollar, twenty pound Bluetooth wireless headphones. There's a day you are there, right? They're they're they're, kind of, they're like an Empower Flame sort of gaff, right? They're really cool, really nice, really good to use, really cheap, uh, well, cheap price, all right quality. Over time, they kind of died on me. I, I was I was I literally abused the f out of these, right? I use them every single day, especially going to the gym. They're perfect for me. They fit my ears really well. I love the little clip on on top. But then over time, the quality kind of did dis dis uh, dis disintegrated. It they disintegrated over time. Sorry, and then I think I put them in my back pocket and I sat down somewhere on the bench and I kind of crushed one of the left earlobes. Um, and then over time, the quality of the sound wasn't that great. And it kind of, you know, there was no real noise uh, cancellation or sound isolation in that regard. So I thought I need to upgrade them. So I looked online and I was thinking, you know what? I'm not really ready yet to go and buy. Well, I'm, I'm ready, but I'm not really sure what I want to get yet. I want to see what these people say about the new Beats uh, headphones that are coming out at the moment. I want to see what the reviews are on those. But I also wasn't sure what to get uh, in between, right? Because I know I want to get the... Um, uh, I want to get the Bose, the, uh, the Bose that everyone has, the ones that are wireless, Bluetooth ones, they're really cool. I've got a friend that has them, I've tried them on, they sound fucking amazing. I know I want to get those for my daily commute, but I need something to work out in. I'm not really comfortable wearing um, massive over-the-ear DJ headphones because I, I tend to sweat quite a lot and that won't be good for me. So I need something that kind of props into my ears. So I looked online again and then I kind of stumbled upon this great, um, an, an upgrade to the Empower Flames that I have already, right? And I saw a couple of reviews and they were saying that the, the, the sound quality is a lot better on them. They, uh, they they, um, they actually have some element of noise cancellation. I'm not sure if it's full noise cancellation, but they work a lot better than these. I like can upgrade. So I decided to get them, and the whole five-mile run was predicated on when my, my headphones get delivered. Unfortunately, they came super late. They didn't come at the time I thought it was going to come when I was working from home. They ended up arriving around, I'm going to say, 7 p.m. So I ended up going for my run about 8. So super late for me, if you know um, how early I wake up and when I go to work out and stuff. I thought, you know what, let me mix things up a good bit and go for a little evening run, a little five-mile run. Um, but they arrived, right? And here they are, the Empower M8s. That's what they are, right? Empower M8s, as you can see there in the camera. So they're a little bit different design than the old ones that I have here. Well, let me get them up here so I can show you on the camera. If you're not watching via the YouTube app, via the YouTube video, then please apologize. I was just trying to describe as much as you can for them. So the, the first ones are just a standard kind of block rectangle kind of shape. No real ergonomic design to it. And the M8s have sort of like upgraded a little bit. There's a little bit of a chamfer here. They've got a little bit more of a, I don't know, like a matty kind of finish on them. Um, the buttons also change, right? It's this weird little kind of like triangle button instead of the little round one before. Uh, and the earphones kind of fit you a bit better too. I'm not sure if it's, they've changed the diameter of the actual clip over, over the head, over the ear, sorry, but they fit a little bit snugger too. And they just, and they, the sound quality is far superior on these, far, far superior. And they're about the same price. I think they were like eighteen ninety nine um via Amazon Prime. So they, they arrived straight away and I just put, popped them out of the bag, chucked the box away. And then off I, off I went to go have my run, little five mile run this evening. And it was really good, man. I, I enjoyed using them. You can change, but you can effectively change the songs or pause them. But you can play and pause by pressing the big button on the side. They've got a little volume control at the top of the right um, one here, as you can see, maybe there, a little... A little nick there, a little volume control up and down. One, one, one can skip, one can go backwards. And if you hold one, I think it kind of fast forwards a little bit, which is quite nice as well. Um, you could obviously use it as a Bluetooth headphones if someone wants to call you. They've got a built-in microphone there too. So all in all, perfect headphones. So everything was going well. Everyone's going swimmingly. There I am on my five-mile run. I'm now approaching around. I'm at the probably the four-mile mark, just about to finish my last mile. And as I'm approaching the Bow flyover, if you're familiar with East London, towards um, the one that's kind of like where the 24-hour McDonald's is, I'm running along, and then I pass this young young this young woman walking past on the side street, go kind of around her. So excuse me, because it's quite a narrow little pavement there next to the motorway. And then on my right hand side, just out of nowhere, this um, delivery driver courier um, crashes his motorbike in the inter like is it an intersection? I've got what it's called. You know when it's all sort of like when the road peels off and it goes to a bridge and it goes down to the regular road. Whatever that kind of little triangle thing is in between the, the lines on the the bike, the the guy on the motorbike. I'm not sure if he was daydreaming or if he wasn't concentrating too much, but essentially he was riding, 
really fast on the motorway and his back wheel gave out and he just ended up sliding across the whole entire floor, smash on the floor. Um, he ended up smashing, of course, when he when he smashed on the floor, he busted his knee and he ended up scraping all along it and then I ended up fucking screaming, oh my God, shit. Ended up running across and helping him out. I picked him up, picked up the bike, put it on the side and then kind of made sure he sat down because he was a little bit uh, disorientated, disorientated, disoriented, disoriented disoriented right so i say it right anyway yeah and then um i ended up kind of helping him up um ended up calling the ambulance for him to get um service and shock horror right um the ambulance came super quick i'm not sure if they always have like a because and again it was a it was a medic on the motorbike so like an ambulance or kind of a nurse whatever i don't know if they're are they nurses or medics i don't know he was on a motorbike so i'm assuming that flyover is probably fraught with accidents i'm assuming that area is kind of you know because i know when i used to commute to work um uh, on my bicycle it was one of the most scariest places to ride by like that kind of uh bow flyover that was the most scariest bit and basically all the way up into olga east that whole entire area is just like fraught with shitty drivers shitty cyclists shitty pedestrians everyone's 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 playing a part i mean in, in um in somehow putting your life in danger it's not even i can't even blame anyone do you know what i mean there's pedestrians that closer like yeah you know what makes it even worse as you're just a passing bethnal green i think or something there's Queen Mary um, University, so it's, you know hundreds of students, yeah, all young, um, over overexcited, running around, just living their life. So they're all running around the streets. Then around the corner, there's a skate park, right? The legendary skate park around the corner. So you see, you have a lot of skaters just like you know randomly jumping into the street and doing what they're doing. Then you have schools all, all around that area too. So parents of little children running around. Then you have loads of learner drivers. I think um, that's the place where if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna have your driving test, that's one place you won't want to have your 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 kind of actual driving test. You wouldn't want to have it there. I think it's probably only second to Apton Park, right? It's, it's it's where you go and fail your test for the most part. Um, so that happens, and then you have people like me on my bicycle trying to get to work, right? Um, not necessarily, you know, the best, not the most adept at kind of you know anticipating danger and just about you know everything's a shock. Everything's kind of like a last minute break. But of course, over time, as you get used to riding those kind of places, you start to kind of have a bit of a sixth sense of just, you know, okay, this guy's a psycho. She's not going to look up. Because before you get angry, you start telling people off, like, hey, look up. Stop looking at your phone crossing the road. You know what I mean? You start telling people off, like, and then you realize, hold on, everyone's doing this. It's not just this one person. You're wasting your time. You're getting your blood pressure up for nothing. It's, if anything, try and avoid them. They're not going to try and avoid you. You try and avoid them. That's the main name of the game. So I ended up calling the ambulance and they came, like, I don't know, in two seconds, man. So I think the guy was maybe. Because if I remember correctly, when I've when I've been running that side of walk or or, or cycling back home from Olga East, I do remember seeing a quite a few. Um, I, I thought they were just like traffic wardens. They'd make sure that you know. Again, I think it's health and safety or the safety of the bicyclists. Because sometimes the bicyclists that come by the M McDonald's um, flyover will try and burst through the lights and not stop at the traffic lights. So I think there would there's always a police officer at the side there waiting and making sure people stay at the lights and don't jump them and all that sort of stuff. I think especially during rush hour, because it was just before rush hour ended, um, which actually made the guy's accident a lot a lot more bearable for himself actually, because you know, he could have he could have got really fucked up. But luckily it wasn't during the the really, really busy period of the rush hour time. It kind of like, you know, Huh? the traffic kind of died out you kind of slid across the floor and no one really hit him because that, that's usually the way it kind of fucks up in it because when you're driving on a motorbike and a car's right behind you and you slide on the floor and it hasn't got any time to stop and it kind of you know accidentally clipped your you know runs over your leg or something that's when it can get a bit it can get a bit dicey so yeah i ended up putting ambulance room and they came straight away and then i ended up kind of proceeding along with my run again shook the guy's hand told him to take care 